Yeah, baby. Right offshore, the JW Marriott. And there is a beautiful area right here. But not surprisingly, we were the only people uh, swimming out right in front of the Marriott like this. And a huge, I mean enormous sea turtle just came right in front of us uh, when this wave crashed ashore. And as you can see, you know, we weren't expecting it. We turned around, opened my eyes after the wave crashed. You know, remember, we're trying to uh, fight against the current and look in these rocks to find creatures uh, just as the sea turtles were feeding. And it uh, it shocked us. You know, we had... Uh, we had gone out and swam to the area where nobody else was snorkeling because it was so rough and, and really not very safe, I guess, if you're not a good swimmer. Uh, so we had left the little uh, area where most of the families uh, stay at the JW Marriott, went out into the open ocean, and uh, it was pretty incredible uh, what we found. Uh, an awesome experience. It didn't take long for us to realize that these sea turtles were only there during high tide. Uh, there wasn't enough water in this area in low tide for them to drift up with the current uh, and get in there and uh, eat some of the seaweed right off the shore. So when we came back the next morning to uh, try to find some octopus we were told were out there, uh, there were no turtles at all, uh, partially because the tide just uh, wouldn't allow them to get in water shallow enough. Uh, amazing. Pretty amazing. What was amazing to us is, you know, we went to this area not even knowing there were sea turtles around. You know, we'd just gone into these rocks looking for eels. Uh, we'd seen some uh, eels swimming around, one of them even during the day, and that's what prompted us to go in here. Uh, and as we made our way, basically, uh, right to the point where, you know, the current uh, opened up into the main ocean as aside from these uh, uh, protected areas we had been in, the sea turtles just show up right in front of us um, you know and, and we were shocked it was uh, it was incredible and you know we'd swim away and go look at uh, maybe some sea urchins or something like that and all of a sudden wow you know we had three turtles at once you know dawn right upon us and uh, something we'll never forget it was really incredible we, we quickly found out exactly what was going on while we were down there you know there was uh, there was wave action pushing waves right up against the rugged rocky shoreline uh, and we were drifting in the current as you can see bobbing up and down uh, with the waves going in and what was happening is these turtles were coming in as well uh, and they were in there because there was a lot of seaweed uh, up against these rocks and they would drift in with the current and then you would see them go up against the rocks when the current stopped and they would eat and then drift right back out and, and it was amazing how many times we were just snorkeling looking at the bottom and one of these uh, sea turtles would really uh, get thrown by the current right up into our face uh, and then a few times a couple of really big waves crashed and all you saw were bubbles everywhere and uh, we got disoriented and got pushed right back out into the uh, open water uh, and then we'd turn around and the sea turtles were pretty much right in the open water with us. Uh, it was a pretty incredible experience, so we, we stayed there for about a half an hour and then uh, decided to get out of their way uh, and let them have the area all to themselves. But uh, all in all, it was amazing how curious they were of us.